The selective color correction in Silverfast is a very powerful tool and brought up from the tools palette allows us to change individual colors without affecting other colors. We find three major controls here. There's a line of pop-ups with presets for changing the color selectively. There are HSL controls and there is a color wheel. In addition we have the adaptive color restoration at the bottom to be combined with the selective color correction. The easiest selective color correction are done from the pop-ups. We have presets here and we can select any one of those. We see how the red is changing. We can now select the green, see how the green is influenced and we can also select the yellow. The most comfortable control is the HSL control. In order to change a color we just click on the object and we see the color is recognized. We can now use three different controls. The U control, we just click and hold and we see how the color has been changed. We can go to the other side and again the color has been changed. Option reset would reset what we have done. We can also decrease the saturation as well as we can raise and decrease the lightness of a color. We reset this correction again. Even more powerful is the color wheel. The color wheel is a circle where the color that we are correcting is in the middle and on the outside are the colors that we are either adding color to or if we move from the outside to the inside subtracting color from. So now if we take the red we can subtract red from red and we could add blue. We see how the color is changing to become violet. Any combination is possible here. Clicking on the yellow I can now change the yellow to become red. We can change the magnitude of change by now we see adding too much change so also the yellow here down here will be affected. We can later on eliminate that by using a simple mask. Very advanced users can bring up the color matrix here and can now again add or subtract colors from existing colors. We are reducing red from red and we could now add some blue and we see how the color is changing. If we want to do very complex color corrections we can use masking and layers. We will now use a simple mask, drag the marquee around the arm of the clown and 
and now change the color into some violet. We will now create another layer and on the second layer we use another mask around the head of the clown to give the head another color. So here we have a greenish-blue now. So this demonstrates how complex color corrections can be done and how easy it is. Now we will see how the ACR, the adaptive color restoration, can be used in combination with the selective color correction. By clicking the checkbox we have seen that the slider is in a certain position that has reduced the overall color saturation. We can now bring us up bring it up again to the level that we want to have and we can see the ACR keeps the relation of the colors. We can of course now click on any color. We can produce a third layer and look at the yellow and make the yellow more saturated and move it to the colder side and still when we now change the ACR we see how all the colors evenly get adjusted. We can of course reset all colors and again now change the overall saturation of all colors nicely but still we would be able to influence any color individually we could overall change the red and still use the ACR control <laughs>